Hey guys, Jess from Knockout Print Shop, and today I'm gonna do a video for you on using your 2018 and your 2017 stickers in your new 2019 Inkwell Press Planner. So the good thing about the Inkwell Press brand is that the colors are somewhat similar year over year. They have that same kind of muted pastel tone to them. So a lot of times you're able, you'll be able to use previous year's colorways in the current year. So I have 2018, obviously, which is this year, 2017, which was last year. I don't have any 2016 colors left, stickers left in my collection, um, or even stock or any of our inventory. So if you do have that, uh, some old, old stickers, or what did I say, 2016, I'm sure there's gonna be some overlap there that you can get use out of those. So I'm gonna go through each palette from the 2019 planner and tell you which um, 2018 and 17 palettes I think coordinate well with them. So let's start with Cinnamon Bay. So Cinnamon Bay is the pink tone palette. So I'm going to flip over to the mission board so you can see that and you're going to see some of our testing stickers on here. So Cinnamon Bay has the salmony pink, the light pink, the teals and um, bluish teals, light blue and the gray. Now if you were going to try to use a hexagon for the mission board, I think it's going to be harder to do some overlapping here, but when it comes to the weekly spreads, just in general, since you're only dealing with the daily boxes down here, you do have a lot of flexibility. So in my opinion, I don't think any of the last two years' color palettes work with Cinnamon Bay. That's my, what I think. I don't particularly think that any of the purples go from sea glass, um, any of this bright teal stuff. You may be able to get away with some stuff with Coral Reef, but these are more peachy colored and red toned than the pink is here. And then Lagoon, to me, doesn't really go. Now, obviously, if you're going to isolate one color, you can always do like pink with green, something like that. So if you're going to just grab what you have, you can always make it work. But I don't really think anything really coordinates from 27, or sorry, 2018. From 2017, I feel the same way with Cinnamon Bay. I don't think anything really, really works. Taos is very yellow. Um, obviously, again, you could throw green with pink always looks good, so if you have some green stickers left in any of the palettes, that could work. I don't really think this purple in Asheville goes with the pink. Napa is very orangey. I don't think that goes well. And then Sedona is kind of brownie orangey. I don't think that goes either. Again, you can make it work if you had, let's say, a bunch of green stickers left or a bunch of gray stickers left in any of the palettes. You could totally make that work. But in my opinion, for Cinnamon Bay, the 2019... Um, Inkle Press Color Palette of Cinnamon Bay, I don't think it really overlaps or any of the old color palettes really coordinate with it. So February we have Everglades. So again, you'll see our test stickers on here, but you have a little bit more of like a greenish light blue, some yellows, and then we added this kind of salmon peachy color as a complementary color. So again, I don't think if you were to buy our hexagon stickers once we convert those, um, if you were to buy them from previous years, I think really trying to use that much color, um, I don't think it'll work. Although you might be able to throw, oh, that looks similar. So you might be able to throw, you know, it's a compliment. If you want to change one of these hexagon colors, if you, or if you're into the mission boards, you can always change these up. But I think the best way to use up old stickers more so is in the weekly spreads. So let's get into the weekly spreads. So you have this blue light blue down here and let me tell you from 2018 what I think coordinates. So I think sea glass can totally coordinate. Um, you have a teal on here. I think teal and purple, or sorry, not teal, but it was more of a light blue. Blue and purple go well together. So I think this is a good compliment because you can see these colors are fairly similar. So I think this whole entire palette would you could easily do a full spread using sea glass. Um, you could also, even though these are very different, I think you can do the same thing with Tidal Pool because you have, again, these light blues in this lightish green. I don't think they're exactly, they're quite as close to sea glass, but I totally think you can pull this off and wouldn't even know um, that it doesn't match really well. I think that, you know, stickers here and there, these would look fine. So I think Tidal Pool is another great one for Everglades. Um, and I actually think you can even do it with Coral Reef. The good thing about last year, sorry, this year's colors is there is a light blue in almost every single palette. So the 2019 Everglades almost complements with every single one. So Coral Reef, again, you have this light blue, so you can pretty much use the whole palette. I probably, for me personally, wouldn't throw the orange in. I might use maybe these more muted colors. That's just me, but you could do it. And then the last one of 2018 is Lagoon. Um, 
And I didn't originally write that on my list as a complimentary one, but I think you could do it because you do have this blue here. So maybe the yellow, again, I don't know that I'd throw the orange or this green in there, but you can use these, I would say these three colors might be good if you have some of this stuff left. So that's the 2018 ones I think complement with Everglades. Okay, 2017 that complements with Everglade. I don't think Taos does. I think Taos is too green and too yellow. So I don't think that that would have good crossover. Asheville, I do think it would. You have this light blue here. Um, it's, you know, Asheville and sea glass are very similar. So I think that you could get a lot of use out of any old Asheville stuff you have for this palette. Um, and I think you could use Napa too. You have this light blue and I think you could pull in some of maybe these lighter colors. I don't know that this orangey red and this dark no, maybe that's pretty neutral. This one I might not personally use with this palette, but these three you could totally use from Napa. And then Sedona, I personally don't think this looks great together, so I don't know that I would try to use Sedona in the Everglades palette. Um, but again, maybe this lightest color would look good. Maybe even the brown. Sometimes brown and blue look good together. So it's like a camel color. So I think overall for Everglades, your best bet is going to be Sea Glass. Tidal Pool and Coral Reef from 2018. And again, I think you could get away with the middle colors from Lagoon. And then 2017, I think your best bet is going to be Asheville and um, Napa. So those are what I would suggest if you have leftovers to use in the for the Everglades palette. So let's go to March, which is Blue Ridge. So Blue Ridge was actually one of our hardest ones to match because there wasn't much color diversity here in this palette. So we actually took some liberties and changed things up a bit. We made these grays a little bit more blue to just add some more dimension to it versus it, versus it being just so monochrome and gray with just splashes of yellow. Even between the yellows, there's not much variation. So that's why we changed these up a little bit and then added this splash of like this like deep salmon pink. Um, so... I mean, obviously, again, there's yellows and coral reef. So if you wanted to use mission board stickers from before of coral reef or even lagoon, these yellows are a little different, but it could work. Um, you could use Taos, even though that's more of a mustardy yellow. Um, so yeah, you have some options there. But let's go into the weekly spread so we can see the base color at the bottom for the daily boxes. So you're working with yellow here. So I used to hate yellow, but now I like yellow. But let's look at 2018 and how it coordinates with Blue Ridge in the 2019. So I really don't think sea glass looks good. I know purple and yellow can go together well, but I just personally don't think these tones do. I might be able to pull this green in, maybe this pastel blue, but all together I don't love sea glass against this yellow. Um, same for tidal pool. I think this is too... I don't know, too, I would say it's not yellowy. I don't know, too green maybe? Um, they just don't seem to be in the same color family. You could maybe get away with using this like m muted teal with the blue, with the yellow. I think that looks okay. And again, maybe some of the more muted colors. But overall, I don't love how Tidal Pool looks against this particular color yellow. So the 2018 Coral Reef, I think, is a great complement for 2019 Blue Ridge. You have a very similar feel here. You have these yellows, these light peaches, even this salmon orange looks good. I think these look like they were meant to go together, so you could totally use Coral Reef on Blue Ridge. And then I actually think you could definitely use Lagoon as well. Same thing. Coral Reef and Lagoon has a lot of crossovers. So you can see here these yellows, that same kind of similar salmon -y color and green. These look good. It looks like they all are kind of in the same color family. So I would say Coral Reef and Lagoon are good picks for uh, Blue Ridge. Then when we're looking at 2017, um, I don't... Okay, let's see. I do think Taos looks good. I think these yellows are different, but they're yellow and more primary color-ish. So I think you could totally get away with using Taos. Asheville, personally for me, again, same with sea glass. I don't think it looks great, but, you know, to each his own, maybe you could pull off the blues here. Um, I do think you could get away with Napa. I think you, again, have similar feel going here, similar to Coral Reef. It has similar colors, and with the yellow, I think it looks fine. And then I actually think, same thing, I think Sedona can work really well. I think these complement each other, and so if you have Sedona stuff left. So for Blue Ridge, I would say in 2017, Taos, Napa, and Sedona, and then in 2018, Coral Reef and Lagoon, I think are good matches or complementary palettes for the 
2019 Blue Ridge. So let's finish it up and look at palette number four. So April brings us to Yosemite. So this is lots of greens. So you have you know three different color greens, two different blues, and we added this camel color in just to add some diversity again because there's not a lot of variation between colors in each palette this year. So we wanted to throw some extras in so you had some more variety. Um, these greens are very different than the greens in the past palettes. You can see this is different. They're more muted. These are brighter, more, more vibrant. Um, so this is more teal. So you can see a lot of the 2018 probably would not work with this on the mission board if you're trying to exactly match. So same with 2017. Uh, you can see these greens are pretty different. So oh, well, this isn't too bad. So let's get into the weekly spread. What color do we have at the bottom? So we have green at the bottom. So let's start with 2018. What do we think complements? So I personally don't think this complements. I think this green is too yellow against these purples and the blues. So I would not try to use sea glass in the Yosemite palette. Same with Tidal Pool. I don't think Tidal Pool really works well with this. Maybe this light green you could pull off. Just the tones are still a little different. Coral Reef. I also don't love that together either. You could do the pink maybe of Coral Reef. Maybe these two wouldn't be too bad, the pink and the peach. Um, but overall, I don't think it has the same feel. But again, maybe if you take out just one single color out of this palette, you can make it work. And Lagoon, even though there's green in Lagoon, I think these are very different color palettes. You could probably pull the yellow, maybe this yellow, out of Lagoon and make it work. Um, and maybe the greens look. If you want to do kind of a monochrome look, this green could complement but they look different. This has more of a yellowy, bright undertone. So I personally don't think 20, too many of the 2018 palettes work with Yosemite. So then 2017, you have Taos. Um, I think this can probably work. You have a green, which is not too... It, it, this complements, in my opinion, better this green. So I think these colors kind of complement each other a little bit more. Same as with sea glass, I don't think Asheville is a good complement to the Yosemite colors. Um, Napa, mm, not a big fan of these two together either. But I do think you could definitely use Sedona. I think these greens are more similar, the tone and the shades are a little more similar. So overall, my two picks for using old stickers for Yosemite would be 2017's Taos and Sedona. So. You can see that there is a lot of crossover, there is a lot of ability to use your old stickers so you don't have to throw them in the trash. And you can, you know, add some variety to the 2019 color palettes by using some of your old stickers. So I hope you guys found that helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, be sure to check out our sales section in Etsy for the 2017 stuff. You can grab some cheap stickers there to maybe throw in some variety into your 2019 planner. Our 2018 stuff is not going to be on sale for quite some time, but if you wanted to grab some of the stuff um, to finish off the rest of this year, 2018, and to add some different variety for your 2019, go in our online store or Etsy. Okay, guys, I will see you in the next video.